Your name is Sasha Calle, and Sasha means defender. Wow. And Calle means Calle, so you're like the defender of the, the streets. streets. What's up, mi gente? I'm Ivana Rojas. What's up? I'm Jessica Flores. And I'm Gloria Liz Mora. <laughs> and welcome back to Girl, Let, Let Me, me tell, tell You. you. Yeah. So it's been a minute since we've we missed together. you. We missed thank you. You, you were so, so much. Career is career is elevating. <laughs> How do you feel, Ivana? How do you feel about I know, everything? Girl. You're giving me a movie. I feel good. I feel like finally things are like lining up, and instead of me pushing towards it, they're like falling into place after working hard. So I'm just kind of like taking the, the opportunities as they go and going with it, and I finally feel prepared and ready oh, for it. Like, good. I'm not scared or I'm not like, oh, can I do this? It's like, oh, I could do this. And yeah. So I it like, feels good. I like that. Somebody told me yesterday that I have fear of success. Like, I keep, you know, the universe listens to what you say and lately I've kind of been like, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Just give me like five more minutes. Give me five. And yes. then, so like I was, what we were talking about behind the scenes, like, you know, just preparing yourself for like these projects that are coming out. Exactly. Do you ever feel like, you know, like an existential, like outer body experience? Like this is like so surreal. A little, like, oh cause you're like, you're in a movie. You're about to be in yeah, a movie. You're on a TV so show. Scary. I could sure. never. Like, do you feel, um, I don't know. Sure. Like, do you I was, get an I was sitting, anxious? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the trailer and next to me is Elizabeth Banks getting her makeup done. Like just chilling with her feet up, like talking, like as if like to the makeup artist. And I'm sitting here like, how did I? How did I get here like this? Like, it's yeah. just a normal day in, yeah. in Hollywood. But, I mean, I know exactly how I got here. A lot of years yeah. you know, auditioning and work and training. But it does feel surreal all the time. Yeah. And then you're also, like, apart from the fact that you're now really seeing the success that you're wanting, rightfully so. I mean, also, like, girl. Are we... I seen a little we, something on your story. It's giving soft launch. Okay, okay. <laughs> soft launch. I had a little soft launch with the guy that I've been dating for a, for a bit now. It's okay. the first time that I've ever posted. I mean, also granted, we were at the Laker game. It was not like anything romantic well, you know, or crazy. So much fun at the Laker game. Yeah, I, was, I had a great weekend, yeah. and I had I, I like posted. I was like I took. I was like, should I should, should I post this to know of us too? I've never posted a guy on my Instagram ever in my life, literally. And if I do, it's like in the background. It looks like part of like yeah. the scenery. But oh, um, oh it's my never, god, that's so funny. I, I, would do that I just too. haven't been He's ready. One of the He's hiding there. behind a tree. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows. But I just haven't been ready or like yeah. proud. I feel yeah. like it was the first time that I was like, you know what? I'm like proud. Oh, you better let him know. Sound drop. Wow. Yeah, yeah. She and the funny proud. part was that I look at him and he was like, he took probably one second to repost it. He's like, you better, I better post before you change your mind. Like he got so excited. Oh, he, was you better, like, he, better he was all like mushy the rest of the day. Like so oh, happy that I like was proud to show him. And I didn't expect that reaction. So it was cool to know that like what you think you're more scared of is like people can react differently and think like, wow, yeah. This makes it better. It like it like strengthened our bond as corny as that is. Like even yeah. though it's just started. I mean, posting on honestly, like people don't think it is a big deal, but when you're in the limelight like you are, yeah. it is Not a big deal. No, but you, you are, you oh, have followers, yeah. you have people yeah. that are paying attention followers. to what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it is something that you're like, okay, this is for real because you have to think the people that are following you, they're gonna notice if you're not posting them anymore. Like people get invested. Yeah. And, you know? and and and, and, and also like in a personal way, you also wouldn't post something if you weren't kind of like not serious, but you didn't take it seriously. Like you don't want mm. somebody to be like, "Oh, you guys aren't together anymore." Like yeah. I, me posting, that was kind of like, "Okay, I'm committed to this right now." Do you feel like you know people I mean? owe yeah, people? So like, let's say like people break up. Do you feel like they owe the audience an explanation? <laughs> like, "Hey, everybody, we broke up," or no, like you think no. they they have okay, the right to delete honestly, the whole Instagram? I think no, no, you you don't owe anybody anything but I will say for like the couples that go on social media and they're very much it's like a couple right. brand they're always oh, yeah. like they're together they yeah. make the vlogs together they have like their YouTube pages or whatever right. then it's kind of like okay well you're, now people are emotionally invested you don't owe anybody anything but it is kind of like one of those mm, right. people want to know you know and I have a question if you break up with a person you delete the photos or you keep them up there I, I never, think I've never I think posted. you take a grace period because yeah. you also don't want to, you know. I like that. So that you get a credit card. Grace period. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Obviously, it depends <laughs> right. how it ended. You want to be like, oh, you don't exist. But like, I think it takes a little time, and then eventually you you filter it out because when you keep that energy there, it stays, and people notice that. And yeah. some people won't approach you or come to you if like they think you have a boyfriend. So I've been strugg- I just I've been struggling with the internet. I'm not an internet girl. I feel like the rules on the internet are always changing. Like you gotta have 30 seconds now, two seconds. I'm like, I just want to post. <laughs> I just want to post my meme. Like, I don't care about the algorithm. Right. Or it's picking up. But some people like, I, and then I just feel like I've started on Instagram over so many times. I'm like, I'm rebranding, I'm rebranding. And it's okay. kind of like messing up my momentum. I actually have <laughs> yeah, a question. I, I, I yeah. need some advice about something now yeah. that I'm in this situation. I've noticed that the way that I deliver things can come off as aggressive like to to the person I'm speaking to, like mm-hmm. aggressive or like in a negative way, but my intention is very positive. So I'm wondering 
if you guys have any advice, because I, cause I have a feeling and I think it's this way and I'm like, you know, I'll say it the way I do, but it's only with good intentions and like yeah. it's only to make this person, you know, be aware of something would be better. Like, how can I do it or deliver in a way that isn't so blunt and aggressive? Like, I don't really know. That's just my personality. You know what I, I mean? I have the same question. So you have to answer <laughs> it. <laughs> Actually, no, I because noticed that you answer things with a lot of grace. And yeah. Very, like, you think about them, it's always nice and sweet. So, like, where does... Yeah. Okay, well, okay, I will say it's really important being honest with people. If you guys have yes men, and and, and I'm happy you guys aren't. Yeah. You guys, whenever I've brought something oh, yeah, up, I'm you guys like, are supportive, but you guys will be like, just maybe not. Or like, yeah. you know, I think you. it's always about being honest with your friends. You're only doing your friends a disservice if you're lying to them or enabling them doing toxic things. I think at the end of the day, like, I think we had talked about this earlier. Mm. Every single person is raised in, from a different environment, different shoes. Yeah. They see the world in a completely different lens. So taking it into consideration, if you have advice for someone, maybe they were brought up in this certain way they have traumas they haven't like healed yeah. from so saying you know what i'm seeing it from this lens where maybe i'm a little bit more healed or i have like a different perspective on it this is what i feel i understand you know i think it's about understanding and then the delivery and then the tone yeah the tone, the tone. Just, my voice is <laughs> naturally I, very deep and I like have, aggressive and like yeah. i can't be like well i just think that yeah i don't have like. no self-awareness <laughs> like, of my tone yeah. Like, I really yeah. don't. Like, I'm just like, like I've been getting a lot of arguments lately. I don't know if it was Mercury Retrograde or just life. It was Mercury Retrograde. Right, but I'm just like, you know, this is what I want done. And I just like, oh, you, people are like, you can say it a different way. I'm like, why do I need to, like, create all these buffers when I'm just letting you know, like, I just want to get this thing done, you know? Yeah. So, I, I mean, you talk really, I don't, I've never been, like, offended by no? anything. You're, like, mm -hmm. very, Yeah. you're mad nice. Well, yeah, maybe it's... <sighs> Maybe it's a Latina in me that I just come off speaking fast and aggressive and kind of crazy. And people think you're like being... Because in Spanish, when yeah, you speak personal. like, si como, ah, no, hagas así, no sea amor. It's, yeah. very, it, it's like a humorous yeah. aggressiveness. But then when I but translate like, it in English, I sound like a crazy, crazy person. Maybe I'm, I'm yeah. having the same issue. Man. But yeah. anyway, I would prefer having friends like that than a friend that's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, keep, keep up with your, you know, toxic behavior, Jess. Like, keep enabling it. I'd rather somebody tell me sternly. Yeah. You know? But, For sure. But again, some people, not everybody has a tough skin, which and is I another I will say this yeah. about friends. Like, I, I moved in with my roommate in September, and like, we've known each other since high school, but now we're really getting to know each other. Mm. And I think at the beginning, when I would say things, she would like take it per like a little bit personally and kind of be like, whoa, whoa, you want? And now I say something and she starts laughing. And she's like, yeah, yeah, but she, she knows that yeah. behind my tone and my way of speaking is really just a good, you know, person underneath that. I, get, I hate when people get really sensitive. Someone called me mean the other day and I was just like, am I, me I, am I, I don't think, I'm just honest. Like I'm literally like super honest. I'm like, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I'm honest, and some people take that as meanness. But is it was your how old did your mom raise you? Was she like super like was, your parents? Were they? My stern. parents were she super straight, straight up with me. She said you're not going out tonight. Tough skin. Yeah, yeah they built. They give you guys. I guess maybe skin. we have you know too who much else tough is skin. Tough? Who? Somebody that we have on our as a guest today on our show. Oh yes. Mm. Uh, it is a huge deal. It is we're the excited. first Latina Supergirl. Wow. Uh, She's Colombian. Let's go. She's Colombian. Colombian oh, American. Right. Her name is Sasha Calle. And it's so dope. She's going to be on our show talking about everything right. Supergirl, everything, how she got here. And it's just so nice to have another strong, amazing woman here. Hey. Hey. The one and only Sasha Calle is in the house, everybody. Yes. Yes. The first. <laughs> Every time someone walks into my apartment, I always make noise. OK. Yeah. What kind of noise? Like that. Yeah, what kind of noise? <laughs> Do you really? No, I was just being facetious. Uh, like, yeah. Facetious. Welcome, welcome I wanted, Sasha. I wanted, to let, I wanted to let our guests know that I took the SAT. I saw that. Yeah. I, I keep that. I don't know if I, I did. Wait, did, yeah, you know did what? You? It doesn't even matter. Did, did you? you? So, so, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, no, what was your life like? I probably pushed the button, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's, it's, actually, no, it's okay. actually a funny story because yeah. I, so I auditioned for, it's a really long story, but I auditioned for college to perform. So I grew up singing and I auditioned to this college and we didn't really, like, we didn't have a lot of money. And so it was like, you know, I was walking in and my audition and I, I walked down, I was like, I'm gonna, I would call them every day. I'd be like, so am I in? So am I in? And then like, eventually they call me and they're like, you're not accepted. And I, like, it was like, I had, you know, I never felt heartbreak at that time, but I was doing the most, you know, like I was eating like a bucket of ice cream. Like I was like, this oh. is what I, I wanna. And so the following day, I took my mom and my brother to school and work and I went to this, um, do you guys, have you been, uh, have you been in Miami yeah. at yeah. all? Yeah. Have, do you know like the Winwood district? Of course. Yeah, there's the a art, coffee like shop, the yeah, yeah, there's a coffee shop there. It used to be like a dead zone, but I'm, I, I love coffee. And mm -hmm. I called every single college and everybody was like, no, it's too late. And I called the college again. And I was like, 
you need to let me in. Wait, the college really? Rejected you? Yeah, the college that rejected me, I was like, you have to let me in. They're like, you can't, you have to wait a whole year to audition again. I was like, I need another audition, you don't understand. Like, I didn't have money, like, I, I, how am I supposed to know? I need to go to school. How am I good? You're the one that's supposed to teach me, you know? Interesting. And oh, after, that's a good way to get into things. <laughs> it was yeah, true. Yeah. And after an hour of me being on the phone, he's like, fine, you have an audition in a month. Don't let me down. What? Yeah, and so. The pressure, though. The pressure. So I really prepared. I did the audition. And I walked out of there, and I just didn't know. I had cracked, actually. I sang this song, and I did a monologue, because it was a performing arts degree. So right, right, right. I, Both. Yeah, and I, um, I I did the audition, and I was like, I don't know, but I, I left it. The first time I was calling every day, and I left it, I was like, whatever the universe wants, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So my sad face, like, I hadn't gotten a call, and I was like, I'm going to take the SAT. <laughs> You're like, damn. So I was like, damn. So I like, I was like, I need a number two pencil. You know? <laughs> I need a Texas <laughs> instrument calculator. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Texas yeah. instrument yes. calculator. So actually the story is I went and took the SATs and I had the number two pencil. I get home and I go in the shower and my mom's like, Oh my God, Ellen number, Ellen number. And I was like, Dios mío, yo no quiero contestar esa llamada. I was like, I don't, I didn't want, I didn't want to hear another no, you know? Yeah. So she picks up the phone. I'm like naked in the shower. She's like, get an LA number. And so I like get out, put on a, a towel and I go, hello? Like, hey, we're calling from AMDA. We just wanted to let you know that unfortunately, you've been accepted. <gasps> Why would they say Why that? Why would they say that? Crazy. that I was like, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and it was crazy. Yeah, and she, she goes, yeah, she went unfortunately. Why would she she goes, do that? Because she's like, so in the notes, I see that like you've been really trying to get in, Aww, and I just so kind of wanted to give you a heart a attack. Joke. Yeah, I was like, Girl, wait, not but a that heart attack. Oh my, <laughs> that is, she gave it to me. <laughs> wait, but at that point, were you already doing auditions and were you already like doing no, that for acting? No. You, were, you were just getting started. You were in no, high school. I, was, I didn't have, yeah, I didn't have like opportunities to do that in Boston. This was at the time I was in Florida. I was in okay. Hollywood, Florida, actually. Oh, oh my god, oh, you ready? Wait, this you is like, so interesting. Ready. Well, it's a different yeah. Hollywood. No, I mean, <laughs> it's a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood. yeah, yeah. We're in right now. Yeah, yeah. But it is ironic, right? And and how I got into Amda too was that that summer. Kadani, this kid from my high school, posted on Facebook, Facebook Times, and he was like, from Hollywood to Hollywood. <laughs> and I was like, what are you going? <laughs> and and he, yeah, yeah, and he was like, no, you belong here. And I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? He's like, you belong Hollywood, here. California, baby. Yeah. I admire I, you calling the admissions office and be like, you're gonna let me in. Well, I had to. Yeah. Wow. I had to. And so does this, so how does that, how did that help you now with that? I mean, side note, I don't know if we addressed this, but we have the first Latina Supergirl <laughs> in the building. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, thank Movie comes out, the flap yeah. comes out in July. And how did that, I mean, that was the beginning of your journey, right? Your acting, singing journey, going to, going to, going to school. Yeah, going to schools where you like yeah. fell in love with it, high school? Yeah, no. Um, well, I've been singing forever, writing my own music, and um, it was like it was the the whole goal was vocal training. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was like, any school that can train me, because I I've always like loved singing, but I was like, I need vocal training. Sure. Like I have to like get elevated, and I couldn't afford it. So that was like the goal, but I had to do a monologue for <sighs> yeah, and that's so hard. So yeah, you yeah. Don't and know. the crazy part is really? that when I did that audition. I picked the second time around, I picked this monologue that was this like, I was waitressing at the time, and it was this girl who was a waitress and she was talking to the love of her life and she's like, I gotta go and I gotta, I gotta sing. And you have to come with me, like, please come with me. And it was a sad monologue about how he didn't really want to, but she's like begging him, but also saying like, if you don't come, I'm going without you because this is like the love of my life. And what had happened in the audition, which is crazy, really trust the universe is like a real thing, mm. is that I picked a really a song that was actually harder for me, and I cracked. So when I was in the room, it was like a salsa song. So I'm like dancing, you know, Latina in Miami. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what song was it? What song was it? Um, it was like uh, "Raise the Roof." It's like lock the doors and stop complaining. Ooh. Gather around Ooh, and listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a little and more. so I did it. And this is the serendipitous thing: is that I in the high note. Serendipitous. I cracked, serendipitous. SAT word. Hey. Okay. <laughs> SAT. <laughs> Is that SAT couch over here, apparently. Where did they got the pencil, though? No. Um, but yeah, I, 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 what, I cracked and um, I got really sad and mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not getting in. Yeah. So by the time I finished, you had to do this thing back in the day where you would like have to turn around. I was heartbroken. So the monologue became like the most real oh. thing in the world. Everyone. So I was sobbing and me like, because I was just like, I need, this is what my like body, 
is no, I knew I've mm -hmm. always known it's like a thing in mm -hmm. my my body that's like this is what I have to do so it was just it was yeah and I remember looking up and the uh the judge was like <gasps> but I didn't I couldn't process that like oh. I was like I fucked up yeah that this is it yeah. Oh, you, you took it as like that's yeah. a negative when yeah. really it might have been like. Well, no, whoa. the crack. I couldn't stop thinking about yeah, the crack. Because right. I you know never acted that. before. I was a singer, right? You so had like never that, acted before. before no, that, moment. that was it. And so I did this thing where, like, you know, we get out and my mom's like, okay, I'm going to know. And I'm like, no, we're staying. She was like, what do you mean we're staying? I was like, we're staying until he comes out and I'm going to thank him. Because he, oh, he, yes, yes. he did this Helped thing you. where he like um, did notes. some scales with me as opposed to the first judge, like, didn't even look at me the whole time. Mm. Yeah, and I walk out. I actually ended up meeting him in New York City when I did my bicoastal program again. And I was like, thank you so much. And I go, um, thank you for your time. You know, I was like, thank you so much. He goes, wow, you're a phenomenal actress. But I'm 17. So I'm like, no, I'm a singer. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah. he's like, no, like, where do you study? I'm like, study what? He's like, acting. And I was like, well, I don't study acting he's like you don't I was like no I'm a singer and my head like you know I was yeah, young yeah, I'm, a singer. Yeah. I'm like I'm bro I'm a singer what are you talking about wow and um and he was like that needs a little help I was like I know that's why I'm here and um anyways that was my, <gasps> that is I just told you my whole college no this is really that is wow. I'm so happy I love this yeah. yeah how do you I feel um I feel like all of us are doing our own our own like audition processes sometimes do you know when you get a role or do you like, do you have a feeling like when, cause you, I guess no from idea. that experience, you're like, no idea. I, I know when something feels very authentic to me and in mm. my body, as opposed to something that I'm auditioning for. And I'm like, I could not get yeah. this easily. Oh, so yeah, with yeah, yeah, Supergirl, yeah. what was it that you felt like that you had most in common with that character? Like, what was it that Everything. set you apart? Cause it was really? 400 people that Everything. auditioned for that role. I, you know, I, you. I didn't know who it was. I signed a contract. I signed my life away, and I didn't yeah. know who I yeah, was yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, seriously. Wait, wait, you oh, like, you didn't know who you, you were playing, but you nope. knew you were going to be in the movie. Yeah, I signed. I oh. went, I don't know who I'm playing. Yeah, let's go. Oh, they don't tell you? Uh, not for this. It was such a big character that they were really protecting her. Um, I knew, so oh, wow. I had like three auditions in one day, and it was Untitled Warner Brothers film. Dark character. Um, but they give you the description. But yeah, but but Supergirl is naturally not a dark character. Mm, mm. And then in the audition, I had a gun. Supergirl doesn't carry guns. Yeah, what? Yeah. They were they were going. They I was confused, but it didn't really matter because for me at the time, like when I just got the audition, it was like dark character, you know, like these like things about her. It was an action movie. I love action. Mm. That's another thing in college. I fell in love with stunts, mm. um, and so there was a lot of things in it. Out of all the three of them, I remember at the time. Uh, my friend was helping me with the tapes, and he was like, this is so you. And I was like, I know it's so good. And my manager called me, and she's like, you need to get a backdrop for this one, because I would never do, like, a backdrop. And then I was like, like can I get a prop gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a prop? Like a green black Yeah, yeah, no, like a, like a gray, like instead back, of a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like a, like a, you know. Like, so get the it's the right only setup. time I've ever used right it, setup. really, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, for cool. this one tape, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I learning. Me. We're like, okay, backdrop. Yeah. No, but I'm like, check notes. No, but I don't use it. I don't, I still do, I don't, you know. Um, but yeah, so I, I was like, can I get a prop gun? And she's like, yeah. So I went on Amazon and got like an air pressure gun and I learned cause she had a gun and she was like pretty much like kind of an assassin. I thought it was like, it yeah, gave yeah, like yeah, atomic yeah. blonde vibes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that's the vibe. And so I was like, I'm ready for this. And I did the audition and it was like a couple takes. He was like, you're perfect. And you know, it's funny cause the ones that are fit the best for you take less time. Right. Ooh. It just aligned. Like they just, just know. They know, they know right away. For. Well, no, in your body as an actor. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you sometimes they give you uh, sides and you're like, I can't get. Why oh, am I forgetting gosh. this line? Why can't I like? You know. And sometimes I know by just me reading the script where mm -hmm. I'm like, I can't play this character. It's not. It's not authentic to who I am. You know. How did you feel about mm -hmm. your uh, Young and the Restless role? Did you feel authentic to that role? Um. Yeah, Lola. Yeah, at the beginnings. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Because that's so, what you started like your so career, long ago. Right? Yeah, yeah. Your we was doing gig. homework. That was it. Yeah, she's like, oh, you got it in the back, bro. He goes, oh, homework. Um, like, yeah. What kind of homework? I'm scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, we're like, we know yeah. your social security. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> I can't remember a lot, but I think it was just like, I think Lola, I mean, look, Lola was like a tough girl who came from nothing. Um, and she just, you know, she was in a food truck at the beginning of the soap opera. And I, I know what that's like. Like, I know mm -hmm. what that's like to not really have much and, and mm -hmm. really, like, own your shit. And, 
and like really try to get to a place. And, you know, at the end of the show, really at the end of my journey, like she was a Michelin star chef with her own restaurant, you know? Mm. And I think that that's like a really cool thing is that like, you know, I, I was proud of the fact that there was a Latina portrayed in a soap opera that's been going on for years. Um, as, a, as, a, as a person of success, and as a person of, of, yeah. of you know what I mean? Yeah, they looked in, the, in a good light. Like, it's yeah, not like yeah. a maid, yeah. or it's not like a janitor. It's like somebody yeah. that has yeah. something yeah, worthwhile. Yeah, because we're, so, we're so much more than that. Exactly. Like, exactly. You know, not she, the stereotype. Of the stereotype. And so I think I related a lot with her in that way, where she was just like, um, she, yeah, she was also like really sassy and took shit from, from no one. Like, her first scene was like with this, who she ends up marrying at the, at the you know, but her first scene was... Uh, with Michael Mueller at the time, he was my husband, my onset husband, and she was just like, not with it. Like he's like, can I have? And she was like, what do you? Mm -hmm. want? Like she mm -hmm. was very like, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, a respectable woman. Like so, there were parts of you in her. Yeah, always. I think. Yeah, I think when I when I choose to be in things, um, obviously that was a very different situation with with YNR. Like I was so fucking broke at the, around that time, and I was auditioning crazy, and I was like, man. But I'm um, so grateful, you know, I really like, that was the first time when I got that job, it was the first time that I was able to walk into a supermarket and just buy. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, whatever I wanted without like thinking about it. Crazy. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine how like nerve wracking your first big gig would be. Right. Okay, so I come from like a radio background, so completely different. And the first time I was on radio was Radio Disney. I had zero, nerve -wracking zero, too. Right. zero nerve -wracking experience. Too. And I was like, how is this my life right now? For my audition, it was like a month long audition. And I just remember I wanted to throw up. I think I actually did throw up on my way to the studio of how my of my nerves yeah Ooh, tmi but it's the truth i was literally shaking nervous was that like the case wow. for you or did you feel like oh, a sense of calm cool. well you don't they don't tell you but i was doing 45 pages a night oh, like i was gosh. memorizing 45 I pages a night and and what was crazy too because they were trying out this new thing when i got there on my first day and the new thing was that we were shooting outside in a food truck because i was in a food truck mm -hmm. so they're like we're gonna go crazy but i didn't know any better right and so we walked in there and everybody it was like everyone was trying to get used to it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um so i was like is it me and they're like no it's camera but it's great it's, it's a wild especially soap operas i would say it feels a lot like live theater mm, it's a yeah. one take wonder yeah like mm. three takes Quick. someone's slacking mm -hmm. someone's mm -hmm. not and you're it. memorizing 45 pages right. and three takes is like the max they'll probably yeah. give you and you but, don't you don't rehearse but that must have really prepared you for my what gosh. you're doing now. Yeah, it's different though, you know, like I go in right now, it, totally, it is a, a learning ground, but it's so different. Now it's like, now you, you realize honestly that sometimes even learning a page is actually hard. Oh yeah. Cause, you're <laughs> Cause really now you're in touch mm. with the well, well, more so that like, it's so little lines that sometimes you're like, whoa, you know, like it's a different experience. But yeah, you do, man, I used to think like, now I have so much more time, but I don't know. I don't know mm. if I felt like I have more time, maybe a little bit. But I feel like every production really has a, a tempo to it, you know? That mm -hmm. is. That makes sense. Yeah. That what is, happened between Young and the Restless and when you got Supergirl? Like, what was that time for you? Yeah, it wasn't. Nice. I was, was doing right. Young and the Restless. When you. The whole time? I was the call. in Young. Yes. I auditioned for it and I was on YNR and they were like, you're Supergirl. And then you have to leave. How I had to that? leave YNR. Uh, Lola Rosales, she went to Miami. <laughs> oh, they had to write it. Oh, they wrote you out, <laughs> girl. In the script. Yeah, they had to be like, we're dead of her. Course. She's moving. She's going to Miami. So I went and opened up a restaurant in Miami. And which is great. Like a boss girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that's a good ending. I like that. Yeah. So I feel mm. like I was talking to Ivana too, because Ivana's following her dreams. I'm like, does it ever feel like surreal that like your dream like literally Always. came true? Like Always. do you ever like have like an existential crisis? Like, yo, like this is this is what I wanted. Like when you oh. saw the Supergirl uniform hanging in your trailer. Right, I was, what, do you do wear you it? Feel? Like, like what? Uh, yeah. Like outside of sex? That's why. I would, you know what was crazy for me? The Barbie. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Barbie. Where is the yes. Barbie? I would love to um, see I the think Barbie. they have. I, have, I think yeah. they have her in the, the car. Barbie? Somebody can go get her. Hey, Barbie girl. But I was just actually <laughs> at Mattel right before this. Um, and they showed me how they made her. They <gasps> no. showed me how they put her hair. <gasps> Um, they showed me everything. Oh my God, she. So you cut the you cut your bring the her in. Yes. Oh, let's see her. Bring her yes. in. Bring, bring, bring her, her in. in. Bring, bring her, her in. Oh my. Oh my gosh. This is leg I would say let. This is legendary. That's your thing. Right, legendary, Supergirl. Legendary. So how did you guys um get get the, like you cut your hair? You you kind of picked the. Yeah. Well, before 
Before I picked the, before I got the job, Andy, the director, called me. I know it's so crazy. So freaking dope. It's so crazy. Do you know the, any of the story? Like what, what about you? You went today to do the. Yeah, I went to today Barbie. to do How it. Was it? Like, um, it was beautiful. It was really this emotional. Was really cool. <gasps> this was this was a big moment for me. I I don't know what happened. Somebody sent me a link, and I was like, what? Oh my God! Could you imagine? I didn't that know they were being self? made. So I was like, somebody sent me a link, and they're like, they're selling a Barbie, and I was like, <gasps> so I bought it. I was like, boom, I bought it. <laughs> you even knew. It was you. No, well, somebody sent it to me. Like, there's a Barbie owl. And I was like, I need to buy it. So I bought it, and it came home. And my mom was like, so did you get a Barbie for you and not for me? Oh, my God. Uh, and I was like, mean, mami, pero pues, o sea. Right. <laughs> I was like, let me get it. So it's like a limited edition. They're only making a certain amount. I don't know. They're, they're on sale. Anybody can get anybody can get them. Please yeah. get them, because oh. I think it's like oh. such an iconic thing. Like, Link in bio. Lincoln Bar. So I'm interested. <laughs> about, uh, Click about on the, my head. Right. Link on my right here. Yeah. About the production for something so big like this, how do they prepare you for it? Like, how does it go? How does how do you go into being Supergirl? Oh my god. Like, do you take yeah. martial art classes? Are you, do you have a, your own personal coach? Like, what goes down? So in I being? was uh, my stunt team was literally. They were like my safe haven, believe it or not. They were like my happy place. Mm -hmm. um, I spent five days a week there, two hours a day minimum. Um, for seven months. Before. Yeah, that's fun production. though. No, during. I feel like I would it was a seven-month production. Like a I would have fun doing it. It was that, I feel like. so much fun. Um, I was blessed that they pretty much allowed me to do all my stuff. So oh my yeah, yeah. So I, I just had some a lot of time really to 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 get in and do it, and yeah. um, it was just so much fun. Like I, I did. So I would do like thirty minutes of stretching. It was like a lot of stretching because the harness. Is hurt. really like I had to be flying is the hardest thing. Fighting is a piece of cake. We were like flying. They had like in the, like a studio like this, like just flying up and in down. In the green screen. I, no. I've never been on a. Set. That's how yeah, I was me, flying. Me and her. Yeah, I was like, I've been like, I am. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Talking about, we're like, what do you? Yeah, mean you guys here? are talking about. <laughs> yeah, 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 where are you flying? So this is really dope. No, no, yeah, like you so, don't know what a so harness is. So like an MTV right? Awards, like when they have you flying through the award show. <laughs> bueno, I don't know about that. I can't remember. She does that in her performances, doesn't she? Beyonce. Yeah. So it's so there's different rigs, but. It's truly like a harness. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say that. There was like, it's like a harness. And then there's wires, yeah. you know? And then they lift you up and then you pretty much have to fight the wires. Cause you know, I'm a hero. So the wires are obviously pulling your waist up, right? And if you dangle, that's how you dangle and you have to physically push up. Oh, you need core. You core, need core, core, core. So I was so doing a lot doing of core. All of that. I was doing a lot of fight training. I was doing flight training. I was boxing because I love to box. Mm. I was jump roping. Like, I was just Everything. like training. Yeah, it was a, it was a black. I miss it all the time. So, so how you're long doing ago this? was that? Oh my God. That was 2021. So it's oh, been yes, two that years. Was a while ago. Damn, it's already been two years. So yeah. I want to. So you're managing all that while you're also acting, right? Like you're managing like the stunt while like, young you know, you like know, thinking, no, 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 the the doing stunts like the stunt while, while you're acting yes. and like oh, tapping yeah. into your emotions. Yes, you have to. There was a lot of like I remember Mikey, who was my fight coordinator. He would make me yell every time I hit like boxing when we were boxing. He would make me yell. Be like ha ha ha, because it's like get into emotion and like is, really did, in real life. Super, yeah. Did you ever have like a hard moment on set that you were like, fuck, like how can I get into this? What am I doing? Like, oh yeah. How did you overcome that? Or like, what did you feel? Oh yeah. Mental. Because I'm sure you've never sure. been on something that huge before. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but I oddly felt really in place sometimes. Like I really <laughs> sometimes. No, I did. I I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I'm I, I am where I am supposed to I'm supposed yeah. to be. Mm -hmm. But I did. I had a moment. It's not gonna. I didn't make it to the film. I think it was a little violent. <laughs> <laughs> but I have um I had a, a stunt scene, um the asylum one. Did you guys see the trailer where she mm -hmm. like slides in? Mm -hmm. So she was supposed to hit like a lot of people. It was a big big stunt scene. It took a week, and there was a stunt scene where she like lands furiously, and she grabs one. There's two guys shooting at her or three. I can't remember. And it was like t 10 moves in one stunt. So it was really hard. Like I had to, Holy smokes. this guy, I had to like grab him by the skull, throw him up, backhand this guy, then grab him back. It was like this, like, it was like 10 moves. And it was so overwhelming because obviously everyone was it was a timing thing too mm -hmm, so like mm -hmm. this one guy was being pulled back in wires this one guy was being pushed up in wires and i had a hard i had a hard moment where i was like this is this is hard and um 
I took a second and I cried a little bit because I was, I think I, I just really love what I do. Mm. And do I care? put, yeah, yeah, I put a lot of like love and effort into everything and I was like, fuck, what's going on, you know? And you sometimes know. It's, so, it's so much more than like, just it could be anything. I'm just a little mm. hard on myself sometimes. And you know, they came in and they were like, you got this. Mm -hmm. Was there anybody on set that you would c go to during those times? Like, do they have like Talila. an on set person? Talila Craig. Well, no, she was just my stunt um, coach. She was just my mm -hmm. my right hand woman the whole time that I was there. She you was know, my. Your name is Sasha Calle, and Sasha means defender. Wow. And Calle means Calle, so you're like the defender of the, the streets. streets. Oh. Like you're literally like helping the people on the streets. Wow, that's and now actually you represent oddly that. so emotional to yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it means. And. My like a uh, question that I have for you is like there's so many girls that are gonna be looking wow. up to you. Like you're the defender of the streets. You trying now. to make me cry? Right now? Yeah, I wanna cry too because wow. you know, I'm looking up to you too right now. Like, this is so a much. dream come true to see this. And like I'm wondering what words do you have for you know little girls watching this, me watching this as they like, keep going and like what you did to get where you are and to never give up. You know, because that's what you're gonna be representing yeah. like a defender of the good. You of think the we can do anything? Absolutely. And I think don't allow anyone to tell you otherwise, because there will be so many people telling you that you can't do something when. We know, we know, we know, like that we can. Yeah. And and it's like hard because it's a constant reminder of like we can, we can, we can. But I think take me as a testament that we also belong as one of the most like powerful superheroes and in the big screen. That's right. This is mm -hmm. so fire. Women. I love this. And and and, and going into that. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> snap, snap. We got. We got the rapid fire questions for yes. you coming up. Wait, but before we do that, I want to ask one question because you know, moms Please. in the Latina culture, they get really excited when we do anything. Oh, yeah. I want to know. Your, <laughs> she has a tattoo of Supergirl. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh like, I want to know oh, when really? your mom yeah. found out about you getting this role. Like, did she like hit up everyone in your family? Like, are you in Colombia? Like on a billboard? Oh, like, me, hasta <laughs> ella <laughs> superhero. Tengo mi tío yeah. que mi tío está en Colombia, en Medellín, and he's been going to all the malls because there's posters. So he's been sending my mom selfies. Like, look at this one. <laughs> And so my mom's been sending me, like, of my in tío. Centro. Yes, my tío, my tío, like, in every centro in, in Medellín, he's like, look at this one. Uh, and he's taking uh, photos of my mom. Uh, <laughs> but no, my uh, mom, it, 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 it was actually, you also know that Latina moms are, are, are I think, people of color parents. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think they always want the best for us, mm -hmm. right? So they're like, get a real job, right? Get be a doctor, yeah. mm. cause it, they don't know better, right? They want the best for us, so they're like, "This safe. is where the money goes," right? And my mom and I, like, my God, when I was a little kid, I'd be like, "This is what I'm gonna do," and she's like, "No, but you need a, you need to go to college." Mm -hmm. And I did go to college, and I have a degree, but it was for performing arts, you know. And we had this constant battle, like when I was a kid, just constant, where I'm like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a successful singer," and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and you're, you know, you know what I mean. And we had this constant battle, and even growing up, and you know, when I was in LA, man, I had a hard year. I had like, when I graduated college, I was broke. I was couch mm. surfing. I was like mm. anywhere where I could sleep, really. Mm. Whatever wow. friend would open up their door for me. I was eating like pasta, cause you know pasta, like mm -hmm. 99 cents for the sauce and then 99 cents for <laughs> the, the pasta. Right. So I was living off that and at one point my mom, I was living in the best situation of that year, I was in a living room and uh, it was just like, are you okay? Or like, you know, like it was kind of that thing. It was just a constant like mm. battle mm. and um, there's a constant question of like, if this is, you know, but my mom, so my mom, yeah, my mom had her mom, like in college, I sang once and she was like, oh my God, I'm mm. so you got it. I'm so sorry. This is what you're supposed yeah. to be meant to oh. do. Right. But it was, it, it was, we have these moments and I, 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 she's now like aware, but when I booked the soap and when I booked Supergirl, she was like, you knew it. Mm. Wow. She's like, I'm sorry. You knew it. Mm. Not that I'm sorry if I'm a Latina mom. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> oh my God. My mom is cool, right? like, Not that no, I'm sorry. But Wait, and then, no, so, yeah. para, para tu cantante, tu, vamos a ver tu, in the Grammys. Yeah, like, ya, sea, ya sabemos. <laughs> we saw the X Factor live. We were listening the, the to the cover. Way. Yeah, that was me in the studio being like, nobody knows what I'm doing my music. Um, that was like, a, yeah, that was kind of like a frustrated moment where I was like, I'm just a big perfectionist when it comes to music and I've been doing it my whole life and, and I want it to be really good and authentic and it takes time. Mm -hmm. Really, mm -hmm. it does. It, it takes time to find the right people to do it with. Yeah. It takes time. Yeah. So that, that was I me. Know about for yeah, sure. yeah. So that was me kind of being like, well, if I'm not going to drop music, then I'm going to drop this. Um, 
Yes. And it relieved a little. I'm at that place now where I'm like, okay, it's time. So we have something to look forward to. Yes, with totally. Because totally. it's when you love something, you care for something, you're gonna take you're gonna take the time to yeah, be yeah, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. So look yeah. out for Sasha totally. Gaye yeah, in yeah. your radios. In and then radios. for right now, we got the rapid, rapid fire, fire wrap up. Yeah. Don't look. Because yeah, so I want your case. genuine reaction. Yeah, Would you, yeah, yeah. Okay, this fast Also, okay? side note, what camera am I supposed to look at? <laughs> 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 this one and that one, no? Fine. There's Follow like five. Your heart. Okay. Well, I've just been looking at you guys. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, since the beginning, I was like, what camera? No, hey, it's hey. just, no, yeah, that's not in post. No, no, it's just, we just want to okay, have okay. a yeah, authentic beautiful, moment. Beautiful. All right, shall we? Three, yes. let's okay, two, wait. one. Wait, are we taking are we taking turns or are you gonna? Yeah, do let's it? take turns. Okay, let's take turns. Okay. Let's take turns. Yeah, no, I can't read that one. Okay. Okay, okay. Bueno pues. Who's the last person you DM'd? My little brother. Okay. Okay. Who would you rather have the ability to read minds? Or what would you rather have the ability to read minds or to see into the future? Read minds. Ooh. Okay. If I could decide when and when not to. Because that would that be part. crazy. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, I don't even care what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd be hurting my own feelings, though, too. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Attractive but unintelligent partner or intelligent but less attractive partner? We should have both. Oh, you got to pick one. Pick one, pick one pick no, one. no, gotta, I can't pick, pick one, one, guys. Listen. We we deserve both. That's right, we, we baby. Deserve That's both. right, we baby. We deserve both. No, no, no. We, we're world. gonna get both. We're gonna get both. We're gonna get both. Right. Right. We're getting both. Libra. Okay. Teleportation <laughs> or time travel? <laughs> Teleportation. Okay, center of attention or blend into the crowd? Ooh. Depends on the situation. Okay. Just follow your heart. I, okay. It's okay. Sense of retention. Because I'm a Leo, right? I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo. Okay. I'm a Leo. Okay, that's good to know. But I am a Capricorn moon. Ooh. I'm Capricorn. That's right. Let's so go, that baby. really holds me so down. You're grounded in the love department. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. Oh my God. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. My rising is in Aries. I don't know like, what that my means. My rising is in Aries, but, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. What's next? Okay, so the power to change the past or the power to shape the future? And power to shape the future for sure. Oh yeah. I like yeah. That. Designer wardrobe or lifetime free of travel? Lifetime free of travel. Yeah. yeah Let's same. go, that was baby. So easy. Well, this was thank fun. you so thank much you so for joining us. Thank you guys. Girl, let me on. tell you, this is an honor, a true honor that we have yeah. the ability to be with somebody thank you so much. that represents Latina women thank in such a so strong, much. powerful way. It's just right. the beginning, Super and you're going to change so many people's lives. But I couldn't do it without you guys. That's right, baby. Let's it's a go. team effort, really. Yes. No, truly. Thank you, girl. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having thank me. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Jessica Flores. And I'm, I'm Sasha Kaji. What oh the hell? Are you skipping me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if you saw. I don't know if you saw. But you skipped me. Okay. Keep her so tired. Right. It's okay. You can go. You okay? No, we, we, you don't okay? No. You can say, I'm so, somebody should have wrote, I'm Sasha Kaji. That, 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 that was real. Right. That was a real moment. No, it's okay. <laughs> girls, girls, cue it one more time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do it from the top. Let's do it from the top. But we should have that because that was funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it for girls. Let me tell you, I'm Ivana Rojas. I'm Jessica Flores. I'm Sasha <laughs> And I'm Glorelis Mora, your legendary comedian. And we'll see you on the next episode of Girl, Girl Let, Let Me, me tell, tell You. you. Yes. Thank you, Sasha. This is really fun. Thank you for having me. So you guys are amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. We had a blast. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Yo, I am okay. dying. Real photo on the couch. Let's find a photo. No, okay. it's so good. Oh, you, you mind taking a photo? I got a man. Uh, what did you say? I got a man. I thought you said, I got a man. No, 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 no. Well, I, I mean, need you. I be talking out loud because I'm with it all the time. Sorry. The best, <laughs> the, the most uncommon best deal on the planet. Right.